Hi Abby, Miss Melnick here. Just want to walk you through the orientation. So um, I'm looking at this hopefully the same way you are as a student. So you will see the e-learning orientation introduction here on the left when you open, hit that little green arrow there. You can see it opens up. Um, so the first page you want to go sequentially. It tells you all the things you need to do. So for instance, one, look at the e-learning personal success plan instructions, which is right here. Make a copy of this success plan, which is down here. Make a copy of this and then fill it in and um, put it in the Dropbox. So um, if you go here, the instructions. So here's you want to read through this and it will tell you what exactly you're supposed to be doing with this plan. If I can get it to work here. So it's showing you here how to make a copy and then you want to download it if you don't have a Google it looks like you could well you could download it or you could just add it add the link in the Dropbox so up to you um, so it just shows you how to make a copy so if I were to go here to the actual reflection I could go file make a copy adding it to my drive it should take me there and then you want to fill it in then we are going to share it so make sure that the person can at least comment right um, so you want to get a shareable link so that you can actually put it in the Dropbox so I'm going to go back here, go to the Dropbox, and then go to this Dropbox, and then I'm going to paste the link right here and press Submit. Uh, okay, so it's asking me to select a file, so then I need to go back here. Make sure that I can see it though, you'll still have to share it. File, Download As. Word document or PDF, whatever you like. So it's downloading down here. So now when I go back to my Dropbox, I'm going to go add a file and it'll be on my computer. And I'll click this because I need to find it and it'll be in my downloads, personal success. add it okay so there it is it's added there fortunately you just can't add the link but that's the way the cookie crumbles and then you press done and you should get an email telling you that you have done that that you have submitted to the see here it is right here that it's telling me that I submitted to my Dropbox so that's how you can make sure that you're uh, you've submitted stuff. So now we go back to the content and let's see what else we need to do here. So we did that. So if we go to the, it says to complete the checklist. So you go here, open the checklist and I think you're new so you would want to go, I've never, I've never taken a course before, save. You need to do this because doing this will open up more uh, content. Okay, I think we saved it. Oh. Okay, so now we go back to the content. I thought it might take us back, but under here. Okay, so now we have these two things here. One is for experienced e-learning teachers and this one is new. So you would go under new 
And so these are some things that, that you don't have to read through everything right away, um, especially since you're starting late. So I would, I would go through, the, I would use this sort of as a resource. So this first page just talks about the e-learning experience and what it means. Uh, here it's talking about managing your time. Um, this I think talks about navigating the environment. Yes, what this stuff looks like, what learning goals and work habits are. Um, right here. So here's a little link to a discussion, but you're a little bit late for that, so I wouldn't worry. This is how to set up notifications. So it's a little how to uh, step by step. So it, if you want to know, uh, if you want to be notified either by email or text message when due dates are coming and when, um, when special events are happening on the calendar, you want to do that. Um, not sure what the orientation is. Digital citizenship just talks about what you should be doing online to be a good person. Academic honesty, so it talks a little bit about plagiarism, how to be nice online to people. Uh, oh, and this will take you to that personal success drop box. And then here's the quiz. So I, I wouldn't bother taking the quiz just let it go because the quiz would just open up this next um, unit and you you're already here um, so you can introduce yourself to uh, to to students in, and this is a link to the discussion here where uh, I think you should um, write a little bit on here because uh, what we're asking you to do is just give your opinion uh, just 150 to 200 word paragraph just posted on the discussion board. It just gives me an idea of your writing ability. Um, and then this will tell you how to join No Red Ink. We are using No Red Ink as a uh, helper in our grammar. So watch this video. It'll tell you how to join. And then Broad Loaf 7 is our... Um, code that you have to put in and it'll it'll go through that in the in the video as to how to get in and then this is a link to the first diagnostic which you will see when you're in no red ink to start with so no red ink just show you what it looks like Okay, so we have, so this is the assignment that you're going to do in No Red Ink. And this next little thing here is basically what the course is about, just generally speaking, how it's uh, the different strands and how it's going to be marked. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's the first little segment here.